Today we're going to be going through the simple steps installing Angular 5 and creating a new project uh, that we can work off of. Over here to the right, I have a couple of notes and a cheat sheet which I'll be putting in the description of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to be using Node Package Manager, so it's important that you have that on your Unix or Sigwin Windows based computer. First, we're going to use npm install globally um, Angular and from CLI. For you, this may take a little bit more time, but um, I already have it downloaded. So largely, uh, you can expect just a couple of minutes, unless I have a bunch I need to update here. Uh, while we're waiting, some of the things I want to keep in mind is Angular 5 is the newest edition. Uh, it came out mid-November. Um, there's not a whole lot of disparity between it and previous versions. Uh, certainly not as much as Angular 1 to uh, the later versions. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use ng, which you can see here by my color change in the word. Um, it comes from the Angular word itself, and you'll see it a lot in the projects. Uh, we're just going to check the version. As long as you have 1.5.0 uh, or newer, this will work. All right, so we're going to use the command ng. We're going to do new, and then we're going to start a new project. You don't have to call it this. Uh, just keep in mind, no capital letters or spaces. So what this is going to do, it's going to create all the directories you need and all of the uh, dependencies you need in order for this framework to work properly and, um, and set the clean slate, for instance. So one thing you want to keep in mind, is, you know, if you are fairly new to programming and you're doing this on your computer, you want to make sure that you're in a directory uh, such as I am on my desktop. Um, that way you're not just uh, putting the information out there um, in your, your overall library. It might be a little bit harder for you to find if you're not quite sure what you're looking at. While this is finishing, uh, some of you that may have seen my videos or used React in the past, you will be used to localhost uh, being hosted on the port 3000, but for Angular it's on port 4200. Um, just a little bit of fun information here and there. Also, since we're still waiting, a little bit more fun information, there is no Angular 3 technically. It went from Angular to Angular 2, which was a very large change. Um, then no real Angular 3 and then Angular 4 was uh, the decided on format. All right, so I have this directory. I'm gonna change directory into my new project. I'm gonna look what's inside. You can see all the node modules, and, uh, all the applicable JavaScript uh, object notations, such as package.json, which is gonna set a lot of information about this project. So, you know, if you're not gonna name it my new project, make sure you don't name it something crazy, because those who know where to look will find it. Uh, as well as the markdown. So I'm going to do ng-serve. This is the command, uh, you know, that will serve up, start up, uh, etc. And it'll put it to localhost 4200. Right now it's building the modules. So it's compiled successfully. It should start automatically. If not, you can simply go to localhost 4200 and you will see your Shiny new front-end framework ready to be tweaked. Uh, more videos to come include the designing of this as well as the implementation of the backends and what's going to be Python. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section or just give me a shout anywhere you know, email, uh, what have you. All right, see you then.